Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Pokemon kittens. We have just put their carrier into a little playpen. Um, you can see they're out and exploring. Where's Togepi? Togepi, well that's Togepi right there, the gray one. Squ Squirtle. <laughs> Turtle. Squirtle. Okay, sorry. Squirtle is uh, returning to the carrier. I'm going to leave the carrier in there for uh, the next day or so until I'm sure that they're comfortable without it. Um, they've shown some evidence of wanting to go to the bathroom whenever they want. So, basically I put them in here so that they can move around a bit more and also maybe try out the litter pan. Um, since you saw their intake, which was coming up on a week now, um, they're so much better. So much better. Um, Meowth, who is the cream colored one, is very close to um, 300 grams. He's the biggest one. And P or Togabi, who's the smallest, is about 270 at this point. So she's no, wait. No, I think she's actually more like 240. Sorry. But she's getting really close. And she's a really good eater. It's been interesting with them because they're not quite sure what to do about me. And I apologize for the shaky cam. I'm over-caffeinated right now. And I, never, <laughs> I don't have steady hands to begin with. Um... They haven't really known what to do about me. It, they may not have had much socialization. I'm not sure. I'm not a kitten expert. Let's move this so you can see. Um, in my opinion, oh, look at Pikachu. He's comforting Togepi. In my opinion, uh, Togepi and Pikachu, the orange fluffy and the delight torty fluffy are um, somewhat bonded. They seem to stick pretty close together. It's a little early to tell, but um, I'd hope that they would go together because they seem to stick pretty close together. Uh, so they finally started to regard me as someone who provides them with food. So they're starting to maybe like me a little bit better. It's been a bit of a struggle to learn to drink out of a bottle. Let's check on Squirtle. Oh, she's in the carrier. Okay. It's been a bit of a struggle. Um, it's taken some time. Meowth and Togepi were the best. Pikachu is still kind of uh, struggling. But as you can see, they're starting to look around their surroundings. They've just had a really big meal, so they're probably going to go to sleep in a second. I just wanted you guys to see how they were doing. I know a lot of people are concerned about them. Um, they're going to be going into Mountain View tomorrow for a little checkup, so we should find out if they're doing well health-wise. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been able to update much. I have a paper due tomorrow, and I'm a little bit behind, so see, there's Pikachu and Togepi always together. So cute. So, so cute. Meowth, are you getting sleepy, buddy? He ate a ton of what we call meat smoothie, which is a very milky slurry mix, um, heavy on the milk, in a bottle with the tip cut off. It seems to be the best way of getting the most food in them. So um, look for more pictures later. Now that they're out and about a bit, it'll be a little bit easier for me to get pictures of them. Um, the first two or three days, they really only ate and slept. They had a lot of catching up to do, I think. Um, but as you can see, they're starting to play and interact with each other and move around. And I think Squirtle's asleep. <laughs> um, look and see, Pikachu has discovered his feet. Have you seen your feet, Pikachu? There's your foot. Oh, Pikachu. So cute. So cute, Floof. So I will let you guys know how the visit goes at Mountain View and hopefully have some more pictures. Uh, once my paper is done, it's due uh, tomorrow at midnight, I should have some more free time.
and this is good because they need a little bit of human time and socialization. Thanks, you guys. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask on the Laps Foster Parent Facebook webpage. Thanks. Bye.